All right, another day in the junkyard. Don't even know if this is gonna be uh, enough today to make a whole video, but we'll find out. Uh, really only need one thing today, and that is the sun visor clip from an Xterra. So we're gonna go over here to the one that we were working on before. Got the trailer hitch wiring and stuff, and oh wow. Someone got <laughs> cut the whole corner off of this thing. There's the hood over there. Hmm. All right, let's get these uh, sun visor clips. This one's uh, has some more stuff removed from it since we were here last. right into the box that holds the micro filters when they cut this stuff out. The micro filters there. The blower housing and stuff. <laughs> Let's chop that thing up. I think I got those uh, trailer plugs when I did because that's the connector right there. <laughs> if you can see it in there. <laughs> that the uh, trailer relays plug into. Yeah, right. <laughs> Ooh, it's all wet, nasty. All right, well, we got our sun visor clips. The sun was coming right in the window, so that didn't make for a good video. All right, so four rows have been replaced since we were here last. And of course, the uh, retirement van is still here. It's just gonna be a fixture in all the videos. It's been out here since August, September. All right, I need to look at my little photo here to see what rows are replaced most recently. We have rows 112 and 113, which is gonna be over there. And then we have 140 and 124. I think 140's over here. So, well, that Armada has been here a while. And if that's 141, then that would be 140. All right, we'll just go over and look at it. 147, I thought that said 141. So up here a little bit. And I might have got knocked over since we were here last. And the sun's right behind it. 124. Well, you know what, we're here. We'll go ahead and walk down this aisle. See what we got. You want to ride my ass, at least pull my hair. Ha! <sighs> Older Escalade, Dodge pickup, Durango, another Older Escalade, and Durango, Trailblazer, Older Frontier, Nissan pickup. Have sunroof? Nope. This is the yellow Xterra. Looks like it was about the 2003. That's my guess, 2003. That's fiberglass. I don't know anything on Xterra being fiberglass. Look at that, 2003, I was right. All right, nothing on this row. Go over here to 140. Is that H3 again? Ouch. All 
All right, 140. Let's see what we got. You know what? I might look at that exterior over there too. Let's see if it has the trailer hitch wiring on it. I think I forgot to check that last time. I'll just do that now. Why don't we? Let's turn this E. Sunroof. I suppose the sunroof cover is still in there, is it? It is. It's a mess. Oh, wow. This is one that had a leather package from the factory. You don't see those very often. I'm guessing by the condition of this headliner that uh, it's not going to have a good sunroof cover. Need to come out here and mow the grass. Probably next to impossible with all this shit out here. Um, okay, some already got trailer hitch wires on that. Why was somebody scraping the lettering off? There's something else on this one I wanted to look for. Ooh, look at that spider web. That just about stuck my face in. You can see that. Someone took plastic, unless it broke. What the hell? Oh, this got fire. Melty, melty. A relatively new air filter. Did I take the K&N filter out of my Xterra, the last one, when I sold it? I don't think I did. So I guess whoever has it now, has it, and uh, they can't clean it. Oh! And Armada. Look for the window switch. Brake lights. Ooh-wee! Hey, the window switches are here. Hmm, here's it. Brake light. Cool. screws holding this brake light itself to the spoiler. And with that too, I'm going to go ahead and cut these wires going to it.
step stools. This one is already damaged, which is good. I got the brake light in there. Somehow. The little stud and the spoiler broke off at some point. I just have to get that nut off there. Show the size of this. Probably a 10. Always try the 10 first. for being 14 years old, so. Test it when we get home. Pretty good. There's a giant tire back here. H3, isn't it? I wonder if those are the tires that were on it. Kind of big for an H3. Oh, just got the <laughs> brake rotor attached. All right, let's go check out that other two. And that's 112. Tahoe Explorer Champion Karate Van Colorado. Nothing. Nothing of interest. That's disappointment. Still don't know why they're not. Filling in this area over here. They're gonna make the driveway bigger or something at some point. There's a lot of real estate that they could be using. Ooh. You can't roll over. This one didn't even have curtain airbags. Ouch. Ouch, ouch.
this thing catch on fire? Yeah, it also had a fire. Imagine that, a Ford that caught on fire. You don't say. Oh wow, look at the melted garage door opener. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this. The sun visor was up. And there's a nut burn under the sun visor. That's cool. So where did it start? Someone torch it? It's not really that extensive in here. Starting a radio or the engine burn? The engine burn? No. It's just a little interior fire. Okay, the newest that have been updated over here are 20 and 21. There's 21 and 22. Well, we'll just look out for you. How about that? There's an alien green soul over there. So I may have mentioned it before. I had a rental Kia Soul once while my car was in the shop for some warranty stuff. And I actually kind of liked it, as odd as it is to admit. And I kind of like the newer ones too. And I've been looking online at available Kia Souls. And it seems like the 2015 to 17 is going to be what I'm looking for if I want to get one. But to get the features I want, I gotta get the leather seats. But 2015 to 2017 Kia Souls with leather seats had cooled seats. And uh, so far I've only found two. One's in Pennsylvania and one's in Kansas. Not sure why that wasn't a popular option. But looks like I'm gonna have to just wait for the perfect one to come along or wait for CarMax to get it and transfer it. CarMax did have one exactly like I wanted. I just wasn't sure if that's what I wanted back then. But still have other cars to look at. Haven't completely narrowed it down. Definitely not getting rid of Garfield. Garfield will be here until he falls apart. Anything in there? A wheel. Hmm. Another soul. So this is the previous body style. It's like 2012. Of course, it'll have to be red. That's another part of the problem of finding the right one. Element. All right, if I find some shape. Oh, there's a newer Santa Fe. Look at that. Smash. That's a newer Maxima, too. What use is this? 
2015, 2015 Santa Fe. It slid on its side a little ways. Lots of noise. Ooh, stinky in here. Very stinky. Yeah. Yeah. Busted windshield and not good for all the inside parts. What about the brake light? Is there a market for 2015 Santa Fe brake lights? Let's look it up real quick, why don't we? Alright, so I looked it up. Only one has sold recently. Actually, I think there are two. Two sold. None are currently listed. Problem is, another electronic door. No keyhole. This isn't a uh, push button start car, but the keys are no longer attached to the steering wheel. And there's no keyhole anyway. So that means crawling and to release the door to the inside. I really want to do that. So I gotta get these wheels out to fold the seat down and then crawl in there to get the latch. I can see the latch. Let's see it. I'm just assuming there's a latch. I need a very small assistant that can do these things for me. gonna wrap it up for today. We'll uh head on up, pick this brake light. I think that's all we're out with the brake light. Take a peek in the teaser lot. Another jag. Sam Crack finally posted the video of me getting his parts. Oh look, it's the J shifter. Like he needed I think. I don't know. Yeah, he finally posted his video, and thanks to all the new subscribers from that, that should be awesome. teaser lot. Rodeo, nothing of interest. Yeah, nothing of current interest. Strange. This van was out here for parts. It was right over there somewhere. He was in a previous video. All right, I'm gonna go pay. Let's see on the other side. All right, trying something new here. On the way home from the junkyard, I have the gimbal mounted in the truck. And it's going to go around the corner. That's kind of cool. And I have a new microphone for while I'm driving. 
might be too close to my teeth. It's down here, actually. All right, hopefully you can hear me okay. I'm gonna do some test driving down the road with the window open, the air on. Let's see how good the little wind diffuser is. here just for a little talking on the way home all right so we got those sun visor clips and we got the brake light from that armada and that's it looked at a few things decided not to crawl in the back of that santa fe maybe if it wasn't so stinky in there i might have done that but too bad you can't smell what I was smelling. You wouldn't want to go in there either. So it's about 9.40 now. Got to the junkyard right when they opened. So I was there for what, an hour and a half? It took me about 10 minutes to walk back out to the car and put tools away, change. Set the cruise if we're going too fast. Got it attached to the headrest post. That's doing a lot of wobbling. I don't think the gimbal is going to be able to keep up with that. Find another way. I wonder if it'd be better if I clamped it onto this, but on that side. 